Giant Television proudly presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Earth. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? Why you, are you, why you can't grab me? I'm a gangster. Oh, ah! Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it! I can. Put him down! Watch me! Fella. I ain't that giant! Now, it's Fee-Fi-Fo-Yum! And today's contestants, all the way from Wales, are the Huffin Dragons! And they'll be playing against the Essex Explorers who come from Woodford Green. Here's a taste of the thrills and skills that stand between them and their freedom. And now, here he is, every giant's favourite host. It's Dennis coming next. Dennis! Whoa! <laughs> Hello and welcome to B5 Bolio, the show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian's dinner. I'm so excited, I just can't stop dad dancing. I just feel it's going to be one of those really great shows today. What do you think, Brian? <laughs> Brian? <laughs> You know, fee fi fo yum the show started. Oh, I'm sorry, Des. I, I don't know what happened there. I'm off to nod it off. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> well, perhaps you could stay awake because we're about to play and meet the teams. Let's first of all meet the Avan Dragons! <laughs> Hi, Morgan. Do you like them dancing? Hiya, Les. Do you like it? The bit yeah. of dancing? Yeah. I think Alex at the end there likes the dancing there. Introduce us to your team, Morgan. Thomas. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Thomas. Megan. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Megan. Alice. Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. And Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. You're a bit of a movie yourself, aren't you, Alex? Give <laughs> us a few... Excellent. I love it. I love it. What type of team would you say you are, Morgan? Confident, crazy and awesome. OK! That's the awesome Avan Dragons! Let's go meet the Essex Explorers! <laughs> oh, you're a lively lot as well. Hiya, Jessica. Hi. Introduce us to your team. Selin. Hi, Les. Hi, Selin. Mathumi. Hi, Les. Hi, Mathumi. Layla. Hi, Les. Hi, Layla. And Susie. Hi, Les. Hi, Susie. What Hi. type of team would you say you are? Awesome and brilliant. Oh, you're awesome as well. And brilliant. And yeah? perfect. Mm. And what? Perfect. Perfect. What a couple of teams. All right. <laughs> this is how we play B5 Bo Young, OK, teams? You will compete in a series of games in order to try and earn time. The more time you earn, the better chance you will have in our show's finale, The Great Escape. Because remember, the team that gets beat, Brian's gonna... Eat! Oh, oh, eat! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that's right. Let's see if our first game can wake Brian up a bit. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yeah, go on, do it, do it. <laughs> All right, Brian. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat them, the more you... Oh, as you can tell, teams, Brian likes beans a lot. So what you have to do is catapult as many beans as you can onto your round of toast using the teaspoons that Brian has provided you with. The team that gets the most beans onto the toast will earn the first five-second lifeline and, more importantly, take Brian's mind off eating you for a while. Brian? Who's going to play? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, I think you should have a go. Thomas and Megan, you look tasty. And I want Dylan and Layla. <laughs> mm, I reckon you'll be delicious. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Beans on toast! You'll have until Brian's egg timer runs out to load up that toast with the beans. Good luck. Brian, over to you. Three, two, one. That's it. The more beans you feed him, the better he'll like you. It's got to go onto the toast. That's the first one. If it goes on the 
table, it won't count. If it goes on the plate, it won't count. If it goes on your opponent's toast, it'll count seconds to them. Left. Van Dragons flying ahead at the moment. Essex Explorers, you need to get some beads on seconds. that toast. Hurry up, I'm hungry! Oh, oh there you go, four, your first bead! Three, two, one. Time's up! Oh, time's up! Okay, players, back to your teams. Let's see how you did. The Avan Dragons, you got six beans onto your round of toast. Well done. Oh, delicious. The Essex Explorers only got one. Mm. So that means that you spilled the beans, you came up trumps, and you get the first five second lifeline. Well done, the Avan Dragons. But it's still all to play for. That's the end of part one of FIFA 5 Bo Young. Join us after this. Stay tuned to Giant Television. <laughs> Breath too fresh? Then you need Stinks mouthwash. Each bottle contains concentrated essence of cabbage, mold, and sweat. Instant results guaranteed every time. Go on, give it a go. <sighs> Mummy! Ooh, knockout. <laughs> Your minx. Get some stinks. You're watching GTV. Back now to this. Welcome back to FIFA Yum. At the end of the first game, the Avan Dragons got a five second advantage over the Essex Explorers, but there's still plenty of time up for grabs. What does time mean? That's right, keep it down now, guys, because Brian is so sleepy, this is his favourite part of the show, but if I don't do it, he mightn't even notice. Don't even think about it, Des. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Ah, he's woken up. OK, Brian, off you go, introduce it. It's Des's Tasty Challenge! Oh, it's Les! It's Des. It's Les! Des. Les! Des. Les! Des. Des! Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Desi's Tasty Challenge! Do you know what, Alex? I wish Brian had fallen asleep for this part of the show. So do I. Huh? Uh, uh, I said, I uh, wonder what I'm going to eat. I don't really know! <laughs> anyway, it's on to Les's Tasty Challenge. And here we have a food stuff under here that Brian has provided me with. You have to guess how much of this food I can eat in 30 seconds. All clear, teams? Yes! yes! Let's reveal the meal. <laughs> Cockles. Oh, oh, oh. Yummy, Cockles. yummy, yes. yummy. Yes, lovely. Cockles. You have to guess how many cockles I could possibly eat in 30 seconds. One at a time, I'll do it. I won't just shove mouthfuls in. Just it'll be one at a time, the cockles. Cockles, cockles. Brian, why? I mean, you know, a bit of vinegar on it would be nice, but just cockles on their own, I mean, I just don't get it. Have you been to the seaside? Where is the seaside in Giant Land? Okay, out of your huddles, teams, you have to put down your guesses, but keep them to yourselves. Don't let your opponents know what they are. Brian, can I have my light, please? Of course, Des. Right, I have 30 seconds to eat as many cockles as possible, starting now. <laughs> right, right, then. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. You've started, so you're finished. <coughs> you did put some vinegar on, didn't you, Brian? Sorry, Tez. All gone.
<laughs> how do you like it? So, Avan Dragons, how many cockles did you guess I could eat in 30 seconds? 16! 16, oh. <laughs> thank you. And what about you, the Essex Explorers? How many did you guess? 17! Ooh, 17, there's only one in it. We'll find out from Brian now how many did I actually eat? <coughs> I can confirm you have eaten 17 cockles. 17! That means Essex Explorers right on the nail! You get the five-second lifeline! Oh, well done! That was really close. You were just one out, and I dropped one. I would have eaten 18. OK, we're going to have a break. Find out soon which one of our Humanchi team will end up in Brian's town. We'll see you soon. Come on, Brian. Wake up. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe a cameraman will help. Uh, oh, Brian! Put him down! Here are some giant messages for all your giant in need. No, still sleepy. Come on, wake up! Are you a messy eater? Fed up with your food getting stuck in your beard? Well, help is at hand, in the shape of the Waste Not Want Not Beard Bag. Its super suck action will have your beard free of crumbs in next to no time. Buy today and you'll receive this handy Beard Bag food tray absolutely free. Hey, Waste Not Want Not! Warning, the Waste Not Want Not Beard Bag should not be used near animals. So, say goodbye to that food-filled face and hello to the Waste Not Want Not Beard Vac. Limited one-time offer, 87 grunts. Feeling tired and in need of a boost? Then you need Go Go Giant, giving you the energy to get up and go go. And go go. And go go. Don't live in slow-mo. Have some go go. Watching GTV, but now to them, get Welcome back to V5 Foyo. It's a really close contest. The Avan Dragons have a five second lifeline. <laughs> and the Essex Explorers have a five second lifeline. <laughs> and there's more time up for grabs as we play our next game. And this is how it's going to work, teams. Brian has hidden some fridge magnets in the lime jelly. You have to get them out and create a sum that will add up to Brian's lucky number. So, Brian, what's your lucky number today? My lucky number is 43! <laughs> All right, somebody's woken up. Is that clear, teams? Yes! Yes! Brian, who's going into the jelly? I'm going to pick Alex. I could dunk you in a cup of tea. And Susie. Bit of salt and pepper and you'll be delicious. And who's making the sum? I'm gonna go with Morgan and Alice. <laughs> and I'll have Mafumi and Jessica. Mm. You're going to make a delicious snack. Brian's made his choice. Let's play! Lucky number! Alex and Susie, you'll be diving in for the symbols. You will pass them to Alice and Jessica, who will then pass them on to Morgan and Mathumi, who will do the sum. Remember, you can only have five symbols at any one time. If you don't like any, you can pass them back. The team that comes up with the sum first will win the five-second lifeline. Good luck, teams. Goggles on. Mm. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> That's it. Get into that line, Jelly. Uh, go on, get a number. You need to find a sum that adds up to 43. Brian's lucky number today. There you go. Jessica's gone for a multiplication sign there. Squeezing those symbols out as well. What is it? Is it a one or is it a minus? We've got a times five here. Is that a six or is that a nine? Wake up, you monkeys! Mathumi, no 
knows what she wants here. You dive in. You need some Coco Giant. Tony's asking for a free. Dragon. Okay, Brian, we reckon that the Avan Dragons have finished here. So, Morgan, what's your sum? Nine times four, 36. And six, six. is 42. Uh, oh, no. So, we've got to play on! Yeah. Off we go! <laughs> Avan Dragon. What is it now, Morgan? Nine times four, and seven. Is that right, Brian? It's correct. Yes, there you go. Chasing the six for a seven, you get the five second lifeline. Well done. Yeah. Here are the dragons. Well done. So, Jessica and Methumi, what were you going for? I was going for eight times five because 40. Yeah. And then add three. Good thinking, but you couldn't find the addition symbol. So it means the Avan Dragons take the lead. We're going to take a break. After that, we'll be quizzing you on the commercials that you'll be watching now. So watch closely. And you lot at home watch as well. And you can play along. Not that your life depends on it. When I were a lad, I used to go to Nan's house every Friday for my tea. Oh, I remember it well. She'd make heaps of lovely cake and we'd wash it all down with a nice brew. Nan's always make the best copper. With a full of flavour that's strong and rounded, reach for the Old Grey Lady. Each Old Grey Lady is matured longer to give you that stale, past its best taste. Everyone knows that nans make the best tea. Many mallet. If you've hurt your back lifting a heavy box at work, you need the all new and improved Many mallet. Simply take hold of the Medi Mallet. It's inside the box. Medi mallet. Now put your hand on a flat surface. Raise the mallet, and then apply firmly. The Medi Mallet won't cure your bad back, but it'll sure take your mind off it. If symptoms persist, don't blame us. Welcome back to P5 Bo Young. Now then, teams, I hope you were watching and listening to those ads really carefully, because I'm about to quiz you on them. If you have an answer, then buzz in. But it must be correct, and if it is correct, I'll give you a two-second lifeline. If it's incorrect, I'll pass it over to the opponents. At this point in the game, the Avan Dragons, you have a lifeline of ten seconds. Well done. <laughs> the Essex Explorers, you have a current lifeline of five seconds, so you're just behind. This is your last chance, guys, to catch up and get some really important life-saving time. Right. Fingers on your buzzers. Good luck, teams, as we play... Add analysis. OK, here goes question one. In the old Grey Lady tea ad, what was the boy carrying when he arrived at Nan's house? Avon Dragon. The dragons. Bread, a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. Mm. Was it a loaf of bread? Let's have a look. It's the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> So, question two. How many tea bags come in each box of Old Grey Lady tea? Essex Explorers. How much? Yes. One. <coughs> no, that's not correct, so we'll pass it over to the Avan Dragons. Twelve. Twelve? Are you guessing now? Silly little humanities. Let's have a look. It's 250, so nobody oh. gets a point there or any seconds. So, question three. What was written on the giant's breakfast bowl? Avan Dragons. Porridge. Let's have a look, if you're right. Yes, you are right, so the Dragons get another two seconds. Oh, that was an easy one. And we move on to question four. In the Medi Mallet Bad Back ad, where did the giant find the Medi Mallet? Essex Explorers. The Explorers are in? In a box. Let's see if you're right. It is right, well done. You get a two-second lifeline there. This is your last question in this round. How was the giant advised to apply the Medi Mallet? Essex Explorers. The Explorers are in. 
He had to smash it on his hand. <laughs> kind of, Susie, but I need you to be more specific. The advice was that he had to place his hand on top of the box and then hit it. On a flat surface. On a flat surface. <laughs> and then hit it. Hit it how? Um, with whack it. Whack it with a hammer. I'm going to have to pass it over, guys. So, how was the giant advised to apply the medi mallet? He had to hit... Right, um, he had to put his hand on the flat surface, hold the mallet... Yes. ..and then do it f firmly. And then a key yeah. word. I'm looking for one key oh, word. Firmly. Yeah, you have to do it Megan firmly. says firmly. Was it firmly? Let's have a look. Raise the mallet and then apply firmly. Yes, that was it. Well done. You get the two-second lifeline. Sorry, guys, we had to be really specific on that one. So it means at the end of that round, you have got three right, which gives you six seconds. Well done. Well done. Six Explorers, you got one right, which is two seconds. <laughs> How is that going to affect your overall lifeline? Well, let's find out. After a quick word from my mate, Jim Elastic, and stretch. Thanks, Les. On today's Get Up and Go Go, sponsored by Go Go Giant, I'm going to show you how to work off some of those humunches with the aid of Tower Bridge. <laughs> it's as simple as foot up and down. Foot up and down. Foot up. <laughs> so join me, Jim Elastic, after Fee Fi Fo Yum, right here on GTV. And down and up and down and up. Oh. Have you got a needle and thread down there? Do, 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 do. Here it is. You want to try one of these? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> right, teams, this is where things get serious. Brian's not picking anymore. This is down to you. You have to decide who is going to take on the great escape. <laughs> going to your huddles, team. This is a really important decision You're for both teams. Yeah. Whoever steps yeah. up to the mark yeah. will have the fate of their teammates in their hands. Such pressure. <laughs> 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 OK, really teams, you should have decided by now, so I need to know, Avan Dragons, who's playing and why? Thomas. We, we are going to pick Thomas. He's very reliable, responsible and is very good at sports in school. And we know he's going to get us out of this box because Thomas is awesome. Essex <laughs> Explorers, who's playing for you? Layla. Layla. And why's that? Because she's really fast, she can fit through um, small holes and we think she's awesome and brilliant. <laughs> How do you feel about it, Layla? I feel honoured and confident because I know I'm going to free my team. Good, all right, you two teams are so confident. So, Thomas and Layla, it's time for... The Great Escape. This is it. Thomas and Layla, Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice and their future hangs literally in the balance. <laughs> it's down to you two to attempt to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. <laughs> First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. Watch out for those meatballs, though. Once you've got across there, you must then negotiate the OAP puree can, the old lady lard and the nan in a cube to get onto the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian's got those tea bags out. <laughs> Next, you must complete the chop bar challenge to build a bridge to Brian's big bowl. Then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that gets to the top first will have the chance to pull the release rope. Only then will their teammates be able to escape through the freedom shoot. I don't need to remind you, the team that's not the winner will be Brian's... Yeah! I'm afraid so, team. Yum. So, it means Avan Dragons, you have an overall lifeline of 16 seconds. That's really good, Thomas. Well done. 
The Essex Explorers have a seven-second lifeline, so that means, Layla, you are nine seconds behind. Oh, okay. Thomas, how do you feel about that lead? Really excited. Layla, do you reckon you can catch up? Yes. Where do you think you'd be able to catch up? On the um, chocolate thing. OK. <laughs> Thomas and Layla. Thomas, you will go on Brian's first whistle, and then, Layla, nine seconds later, you will go on Brian's second whistle. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Good luck. Brian, over to you. Run for your lives! Off you go, Thomas! Can he make the most of that nine-second lead? Off you go, Layla! Oh, you're quick through those moments! Little trip! And then another little trip! Watch it, Layla, go carefully! Thomas, you're up through the cans, down in a cube across... Wow! What about that? Oops! You slipped on the old lady lord! She's in there, Layla's caught up. Amazing! Well done, Layla. That was incredible. What a competition we have on here. Who's going to make the chalk bar challenge first? Layla's doing well. She's caught up that nine seconds. And I think at the moment, she might just have the advantage. It looks like you have one last little bit to go in. Well caught up, Layla! <laughs> I'm gonna stand on your chocolate oh. challenge because you're into the line, Jelly first. And you she's off! Thomas, you need to catch up. You need to get those nine seconds back. But you've lost. And Layla's warming up. This is amazing! Oh, that's it! You have released it off you go, know, Layla! That was amazing! Freedom! See you, Essex Explorers! <laughs> oh, Thomas, come here. Hard luck. We were actually going to stop you at one point because you didn't finish your chalk bar challenge. But by the time we thought about it, Layla had already won. She was magnificent, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah? You're a good loser? It means that you're not the winner. You're Brian's... Dinner. Dinner. Sorry about that. Sorry, team. Over to I you, Brian! You. Rummy. Aman Dragon, sorry to lose you, but rules is rules. Delicious. Three, five, oh, yum. Ah! I'm going to enjoy you. That's it from Fee Five Bo Young. Brian's munching away on his five a day, but it won't yummy, keep him happy yummy, for long. Yummy. Join us next time when two new teams of new munchies will fight for their freedom and hope to stay out of uh, Brian's tum. Ooh, See you then. <laughs> Say goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. Hey, Brian, I tell you what, that go go giant pill certainly did the trick. Yeah, you're telling me, Des. I wonder how long it lasts. Oh, Sleeping Beauty.
What is it, Diddy Dumb? Hey, speak to me! Speak to me, Diddy Dumb! What's the matter? The cat got your tongue! <laughs> nice work, cat. Diddy Dick and Dog! Love it. Mm. I've taken your teacup mm. and I'm going to read into your future by reading the tea leaves. If you must, lovey. Mm. Oh. Oh, lovey. Oh. This is very interesting. What's there, lovey? Shh. The ancient art of tea leaf reading requires minimal interruption and maximum concentration. Oh. What is it, lovey? What can you oh. see? Oh. This is fascinating. I can see. It says. What? It says. Yes? Made in China! <laughs> News round's up next, but don't forget there's loads more lols on the CBBC channel with Big Fab spanking you, sorry I've got no head, on in just a mo. And after that, the fun continues as the Friday download team will be on your telly box with everything that's red hot in music, movies, fashion and much, much more. Now that is what I call an excellent lineup. Happy Friday, people!